coming in the picture. A group has launched a more than $3 million exercise that uses artificial intelligence technology to provide data to help ascertain the numbers of elephants, animal corridors, and human settlement areas around conservation areas in Southern Africa. Survey, which will be the first ever large landscape survey undertaken in this part of the world, will act, first of all provide us with a more reliable estimate of how many elephants we have, but most importantly as well, where they are, where they are distributed. And that distribution pattern will allow us to see where there is, uh, where, where do they exist in relation to human uh, patterns of settlement, and where there might be opportunities to create corridors to allow elephants to move and thereby try and alleviate as far as possible conflict with people. A week-long experts training workshop to capacitate and select observers who will be part of the first ever elephant-wide area survey began Thursday in We're Botswana. We're to move into using new technology to replace the human eye and get hopefully very, very the same kind of data, very, very good data but it will enable us to be more consistent and have to do less training and less setup time in particular to get the surveys going. So what we're doing is taking advantage of the fact that some of these cameras like a, a, have a high enough resolution for us to be able to see not only elephants but animals down to the size of a warthog as we fly, as we fly over. So now we can use the photographs to count in the same way that we were, we were counting as we flew along but we can review the photos at our leisure and possibly pick up even more data. The more than 2 million people who live alongside the animals have seen an increase in human-wildlife conflicts which is attributed to an upsurge in elephant numbers, climate change and human development.